Catholic Mass readings, the Feast of St. Linus, Pope, Martyr, Commemoration of St. Tecla, Virgin, Martyr, the 23rd of September, 2017, included in this video are the Epistle and the Gospel readings for today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today is the feast day of St. Linus, Pope, Martyr. St. Linus, the immediate successor of St. Peter, ruled the church for about 12 years. He was born at Volterra in Tuscany, Italy, and was the first to succeed St. Peter as Pope. His faith and holiness were so great that he not only cast out devils, but even raised the dead to life. He wrote of the Acts of St. Peter, and in particular what he had done against Simon Magus, the magician. He decreed that no woman should enter a church with her head uncovered. On account of his constancy in confessing the Christian faith, this pontiff was beheaded in 79 AD, by command of Sidernenus, a wicked and ungrateful ex-consul, whose daughter St. Linus had delivered from the tyranny of the devils. St. Linus was buried on the Vatican Hill, near the tomb of the Prince of the Apostles, St. Peter. His name is in the canon of the Mass. Today the Church commemorates St. Tecla, Virgin, Martyr. The Virgin St. Tecla was converted by St. Paul while preaching at Iconium. She left a luxurious home and followed the Apostle in his later journeys. She is considered a martyr by the Church, for according to old traditions, she suffered the torments of being burned by fire and facing the wild beasts in the arena. Confessing her faith in Christ during these torments, she escaped death by the miraculous intervention of God. Her bravery and the miracles worked on her behalf during these trials, converted many to the Christian faith. Returning to Iconium, she withdrew into the mountains for a life of prayer and solitude, and became distinguished by many virtues and miracles. She peacefully fell asleep in our Lord at the age of ninety. Shortly after her death a community of virgins went to live in her mountain cell, building a small chapel to enshrine her body. This convent of St. Tecla still exists today near the village of Ma Lula, Syria. The lesson taken from the first epistle of Blessed Peter the Apostle, Chapter 5, verses 1 to 4, and verses 10 to 11. Brethren, the ancients therefore that are among you, I beseech, who am myself also an ancient and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as also a partaker of that glory which is to be revealed in time to come, feed the flock of God which is among you, taking care of it not by constraint, but willingly according to God not for filthy lucre's sake, but voluntarily, neither as lording it over the clergy, but being made a pattern of the flock from the heart. And when the prince of pastors shall appear, you shall receive an ever-fading crown of glory. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a little, will himself perfect you, and confirm you, and establish you. To him be glory and empire for ever and ever. Amen. Response. Thanks be to God. All rise or stand for the Holy Gospel. The Holy Gospel taken according to St. Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 to 19. Response. Glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time, Jesus came into the quarters of Caesarea Philippi and he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that the Son of Man is? But they said, Some, John the Baptist, and others some, Elias, and others, Jeremias, or one of the prophets. Jesus saith to them, But whom do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, and said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answering, said to him, Blessed art thou, 
Simon bar Jonah, because flesh and blood had not revealed it to thee, but my Father who is in heaven, and I say to thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, and to thee I will give the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind upon earth, it shall be bound also in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth, it shall be loosed also in heaven. Thus are the words of the sacred scripture. Response. Praise be to thee, O Christ. All rise or stand for the last gospel. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was made nothing that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, but was to bear witness of the light. That was the true light, which enlighteneth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, to them that believe in his name, who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. All genuflect or kneel. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. All rise or stand. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Response. Thanks be to God.